G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be looking at metric units, uh, units of length, and we're going to be looking about how to convert between these. Uh, now, this is going to present some difficulty because obviously we're going to be talking about units of length. You're all going to be having different size computer screens and things like this. So it's sort of a bit silly if I just put up a ruler and say this is how big they are, even though I have got a ruler down here. So I really, really recommend when you do this, you get yourself a tape measure and you have a look at these. Now, first off, I'm just going to go through the basic units of length. So the most basic unit of length is a metre. Now a metre, I'll write this down here, um, and it's spelt like this. We have a metre, and the symbol for this is just an M. Okay, so you might say uh, 4M, which is 4 metres. Now a metre is around about, say, say we had a car or say something like this. If I had a car, um, it would be around about... For a standard size car, and I know all cars sort of vary in size, we'd be looking a metres probably around about this high here. Okay, or maybe for some people here, for, uh, for a lot of people, usually a metre is say the distance that they step. Okay, so if you're walking along, say for a fairly big size step, okay, usually, there you go, pretty draw poor drawing there, usually that fair size step there is about one meter. Okay, so let's, we'll keep that one in mind. And that's the, the most basic unit of measurement. So I'll get that and I'll leave that there for the minute. And basically if you get a meter and you get a thousand meters, say a thousand steps, okay, so if we get a thousand of these, so times a thousand of these meters, we take a thousand steps, you end up with what's known as a kilometre. A kilometre, I usually actually think about that, it's about the distance of a thousand steps, um, fair size steps. It's also the distance, say, we do use to actually measure distance between cities and that sort of deal. So a thousand of these metres is called a kilometre. We write that as km. And if we go the other way, we can divide, um, we can divide metres up in to 100 parts and we end up with what is known as a centimetre. Now a centimetre, and I am going to really write this in a second, a centimetre, have you ever seen those rulers? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, they look a little bit like these ones here. Um, you see that I have marked an inch on here, it's about two and a half centimetres, so each one of these is a centimetre. But a centimetre is usually about on these, these good foot long sort of rulers, uh, or they're 30 centimetre rules a lot of the time, okay? So a centimetre is about the width, say, of a box of matches or, um, say, a, 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 you know, a teenager's book sort of thing. So this is about one centimetre, okay? And the way we write this is cm. Again, I really recommend you have a look at these on a tape measure. Now you can divide centimetres up into ten parts and we end up with what is known as a millimetre. A millimetre. Now a millimetre is probably the smallest of the most typical types of units we use. We can get into nanometres and micrometres and all that sort of deal. But we're just going to go down to millimetres and these are you're going to see on a ruler, each one of these little uh, spots here is a millimetre. So when you see them, they look about the width of, say, a, a small ant, the length of a small ant, or say something like that. Okay, or maybe the, even the width of a match. Okay, actually a width of a match is probably several millimetres. So, but they're quite small, as you probably get the uh, idea. So 10 of these in a centimetre, there's 100 centimetres in a metre, there's 1,000 metres in a kilometre. So let me write that out in a usable way. And this is the way that I'd recommend that you remember these. So first off, it's a really, really good thing if you can remember those different units. Uh, and I'll show you how I would actually remember these. Now I'm just going to write the symbols down to do this. So say we start with kilometres, the biggest ones first. Then we have a thousand of these, one, two, three. Then we have metres. We have a hundred of these, one, two. We have centimetres and 10 of those, and we have millimetres. Okay, now I'm going to draw these thousands, but I'm not going to draw them as zeros, I'm actually going to draw them as jumps. So one, two, three. There's a thousand of them, okay? 
and the meters, centimeters, there's a hundred. So that's two jumps, two zeros, one, two. For every zero, I'm drawing a jump. And for centimeters to millimeters, because it's only 10, I'm gonna draw one jump. Okay, so you can see three, two, one, as you go down. Um, and this is a really, really handy little way of working these out. Just remember biggest to smallest, and then this three, two, one. And you, can, you, you should be able to use this to convert between the units of length, okay? So you don't have to remember these exact how many are in, because this will come to you pretty soon after using this. Now, I'll give you an example of this. Say I want to know um, how many centimetres 40 millimetres were. Okay, that equals how many centimetres? Well, I get 40, and I'm going to go from this one, centimetres, no, actually, I'm going from millimetres to centimetres. So I'm going from this one to this one. I'm going from here to here. As you see, I'm jumping this way one time. So at the end of this number, there's a decimal place. Unless it's given, there's a decimal place at the end of this number. We jump one time. So one time, the decimal place will end up there. Okay, so this is a decimal place that's going to end up between the 4 and the 0 here. So we just actually write this as 4. If it really makes you feel good, you can write it as 4.0 for the minute. But they mean the same thing. So there's 4 centimetres equal is the same as 40 millimetres. Okay, see how to use this? Alright, what about I give you another one? What about we do, um, say I have a look about in 5 kilometres, and I want to know how many metres that are, is. Now look, there's a 1,000 metres in a kilometre, so you might be able to work this out. But I'm going to work it out using this table here because we're going from kilometres and we're going one, two, three to metres. Okay, so we're going this way, one, two, three. Okay, so five, and we're going this way, one, two, three. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I'll even draw the little jumps. We're going one, two, three. And under those, I'm going to draw zeros. Okay, and the decimal place is going to end up there at the end. So we have 5,000. Meters. And that makes sense because one kilometre is a thousand metres, so two kilometres is two thousand metres, and five kilometres is five thousand metres. Okay, let's go another one. I'm going to do two more all together. So, what about we have a look about one? Oh, okay, second one. We'll have a look at. Doesn't want to rub out that one. 195 centimetres. And I've chosen that one because that's how tall I am. You might even measure yourself and, and see how many centimetres you are and then convert this to say millimetres or metres or even kilometres. Um, probably not as useful doing kilometres. But I want to know how many metres I, I am. Okay. Now, when we're going from centimetres to metres, we're going from this one to this one and we're going to jump one, two times. So on this 195, the decimal place, if you don't see it, is at the end there. We just don't draw it on. And we're jumping one, two times that way. One, two. So the decimal place ends up here. This is 1.95 metres. Uh, or we might even call that one metre and 95 centimetres. Do you see how that is? So I'm, I'm actually around about just almost two metres. Okay, I am pretty tall. You might be able to look at that and go, whoa. Or maybe you're looking and go, geez, he's pretty short. I don't know. I don't know how tall you are. Okay, let's uh, do... One last one, and say we're going to change, um, this time I'm going to change from, say, what about I change from 1.401 metres, and I want to change this into millimetres. Now I've chosen this one for a reason, and that's because we're actually going to, we're going from metres to millimetres, and it's actually multiple jumps. Do you see that? So we're going to go from millimetres to centimetres, to millimeter, from metres to centimetres to millimetres. And you're going to see this. You don't need to actually then change it to centimetres, then change it to millimetres. Let's see how many in total we jumped. So we're going, we're going to be jumping this way. We've got a decimal place here, so we don't, I'm just going to um, write it down here. But we're going to use this decimal place and see how many times it jumps. It's jumping in this direction, you can see. And it's jumping one, two, three times. So, one, two, three. The decimal place ends up here. So this is 1,401. You're going to see the order of the numbers stays the same. Okay. And this is correct. This is actually how many millimetres there are in 
1.401 meters. So hopefully that was of some help to you. Um, I think that's a really, really handy little way of converting between these. And especially, you know, if, if at the start you're getting stuck with them, just remember biggest to smallest and then this three, two, one idea. Anyway, hopefully that was of some help. We'll see you next time.